Hi, so I'm down in Devon. I've been doing a session for the last couple of days for this young artist and DJ called Ewan McVicker. It's been great fun and I just really wanted to show you the studio because it's a little treasure trove, it really is. It's called Devon Analog Studio and it's dedicated to dance music. It's quite unusual to have a place that's dedicated to dance music with all this kind of super luxury gear in it. It's analog heaven, it's got so much outboard, so many rare synths. So let me show you around quickly. Okay, so check this out. I've lusted after one of these forever. Wardorf Wave, super rare. I remember when it came out in the 90s and I read about Bjork using it on an album and I think it was about six grand then, which was an unbelievable fortune and just, you know, forget it kind of money, basically. <laughs> Uh, it's really cool sounding thing and more than that it's a very cool looking thing <laughs> it's like a deck of a spaceship Over here, we've got a wasp. We've got, um, I think this is a clone of an ARP 2600 and an original ARP sequencer. Roland System 100, Poltec copies, a Roland RE 501, a couple of Uri's, Culture Vulture, Pom Boiler, Ultra Limiter, I'm not sure what that is, and then look, beautiful. AMS, this is a great delay unit that you can get some really interesting sounds out of. And over here, we've got some great simps, Prophet 10, Andromeda, Juno 60, Juno 106, uh, some little Novation, analog drum synth, TB303, uh, some other little drum machine, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, TR-606, TR-707, <laughs> amazing, <laughs> TR-808, <laughs> and a TR-909. Here, lovely, look, Jupiter-6. It's great, it's a little bit more raw sounding than the Jupiter-8. Great bit of kit. Fender Rhodes over here, with an original uh, phase shifter. Maestro, I believe that's the first thing that Oberheim, Tom Oberheim made. Could be wrong. I'm sure you'll tell me, folks, if I'm wrong. Echo mixer, Telefunken. See, look, I've no idea what that is. It looks great. Um, and then let's have a little look around the outboard. Oh, hang on, we're not done with the synths actually. There's a Jupiter 8 kicking around here. Super 6. And then look at this baby. He's actually had this made, it's custom made three original SEM modules and he's put them together I believe there's a sequencer with it we didn't fire it up it just looks great he said it sounds amazing uh, Yamaha CS60 pretty sexy and there uh, with that we've got a Selena string machine and an Oberheim expander which is great sounding actually we did use that a bit yesterday it sounded lovely then over here look at this outboard we've got Pom Fairchild Manly Equalizer, Massive Passive. We've got a Chorus Echo there, not sure what that is. And then a couple of nice compressors, SSL Fusion, and oh, this is the Owl Smart, which is basically like an SSL bus compressor. And then some more gear over here, it just goes on and on. Curva Bender, TG12345. Yeah, quite awesome. And then if you look out here, you can see, yeah, look out here, <laughs> and this is where we are. Devon, home to the cows. It's beautiful, it's very remote. I came out here in my old van, I've got a 50 year old camper van, and it wasn't too much fun trying to get up all the uh, hills, I've got to say. But yeah, pretty amazing place. 
Okay, it's a bit grim out here. It's Britain. This is my van. I just want to show you my van quickly. Because I'm a nerd. Look at that. Hey? What a beauty. 1973. Sitting in the rain, poor girl. <laughs> 